if you want to change the data model of your elevator, the best start point is the main project data dialog box. The main project dialog box shows you the most important uh, components of your elevator and shows also in the background some preview about the change or the corresponding component. And you see for car, counterweight, drive and machine room, we have the most important uh, components available. It also allows you to enable and disable some components. And let's, for instance, change the front landing door. So we can click on this um, front door box and we see the manufacturer is Common Components. And Common Components is a very flexible library for all products um, of an elevator. Uh, if you want to make uh, elevator manufacturer independent planning, choose Common Components. But in this case, I want to choose some semantic door choose a four panel central opening door with a framed glass and 1000 millimeter door width and uh, also yes change the suitable car door and then you see what happens the system updates the uh, landing door um, quite similar is for the rear door we have to do the same operation um, the front and rear door is not automatically um, aligned so you must do that um, Manually, this is uh, by intent. So let's do that also for the rear door. And you can use this to change many, many other options of your elevator model. Once we have that, I like to show this uh, section. We see we have some uh, interference here between the doors and the uh, shaft. Um, but how to escape from that, we will see that later. But what I want to show you first is uh, there is one button called design mode. And what we see here is what we call print mode. So if I click to design mode, you see that the color for the dimension um, changes. The reason is that you can distinguish between gray dimensions. Gray dimensions are resulting dimensions and blue dimensions. Blue dimensions can be changed. So if I zoom here a little bit, you see that the car depth, for instance, can be changed. So I can double click that and change this to, let's say, um, 1600. And you see that the drawing gets um, immediately updated. And this change is now reflected on all drawings. So if we change to one of the different drawings, it's fully uh, uh, updated. So let me also change the car width, let's say 1400. And then you see that the shaft becomes bigger. This is a very typical question is how to change the car size and how to change the shaft size for, uh, um, for example. So and you see that the shaft width is a gray dimension. So you cannot type, select and enter 2000. But you can one click one time click on this dimension and then you see here on the right side in the property grid how this shaft width is calculated in this in this particular case it's the distance from the wall to the counterweight the counterweight thickness the distance from the counterweight to the car the car wall thickness the car size car wall thickness on the right side and then the distance the clearance to the right wall and you see this is 1980 so if i change let's say we have a Hoist for width of 2000. If I change this to, to 175, you see that, uh, that it's now calculated 2 meters and also the shaft width is displayed as 2 meters. Quite similar is for the shaft depth. For the shaft depth, the parameters are different. It's not a counterweight, you have the door package width and so on. And I want to show you that um, you can easily add a uh, um, a pocket, a door pocket. So if we want to have a 50 millimeter door pocket, the shaft de depth uh, decreases by 50 millimeter. And also you see that a pocket appears here in my uh, drawing. And this pocket appears on all drawings. So if we have a look at the builder's drawing, then we can see that uh, also here uh, for the different floors, we have some pocket. In the builder's drawing, you can also change any other dimension. So if we go to design mode, it's also possible, let's say, for instance, to change the distance between a floor. So let's say we have 3,800 millimeter here for between the lowest and the first floor. Then we can um, change that. 
This will also internally update the travel, the shaft height and so on. And when you can change the dimension anywhere on the drawing in any dialog box, it's always available for all drawings. So since we have changed this to 3800, if we go to the floor level dialog, which is another option to change the distance, the floor to floor distance, is we see that this 3800 is updated here. And let's make this sample in a different direction, make 3850. Then you see that the drawing gets also updated accordingly.